kids, welcome to another episode of Right Lesbian with me, Mary Ann Sheridan, your token lesbian. Today's topic is going to be something I think everybody can deal with and everybody is sick of. We're talking about bill collectors, not telemarketers, but bill collectors. You know the kind I'm talking about. They try every trick in the book to get you on the phone. If they can't get through with run a 1-800 number, then it comes up private name, private number. Then it comes up private name, local number. So you jump on that local number thinking, maybe this is somebody I know. You don't recognize the number offhand, but it could be somebody I know. Could be, maybe not. Let's take a chance. Off you go, you answer the phone, and they say your name as if they knew you for years, like you're a friend from school from many moons ago, and then you know damn well they're not a friend of yours because they're in Bombay, India, and you went to school in New York. Yes, that was the first clue. So, you go on and on, you're stuck on the call, instead of just hanging up, which is a nice way to go about it. No, what do you do? You get stuck in this whole circle of bullshit that they're selling you. So, in an attempt to get off this phone call, you tell them politely, dinner is ready, you have to go. Why, that's not enough, they continue to tell you, because you're so honest, we want to make a settlement plan with you, just give us six months worth of post-dated checks. No, you say, no, I must go. The Girl Scouts are having their cookie drive and you must help them out immediately and run to the door and buy two dozen Thin Mints. This is not good enough. The gentleman in Bombay tells you, okay, how about you send us five months of post-dated checks? Yes, because you're so honest. We want to settle your bill. Why, that's not feasible, I tell the gentleman in Bombay. Why, he says, because I have $3.69 in my checking account and I don't see it growing anytime soon. Why, he says, you're honest, we want to settle with you. If you give us four months of post-dated checks to cover that $500 because you're so honest, we knocked it down from $2,000. That's what we'll do for you. Why, you say, hell no, my kitchen's on fire. I must call the fire department. This woman in Bombay is not happy with this. Let me speak to my manager, he says. I say, go right ahead. I must put out the explosion that just occurred in my car. Yes, that's right. There's a tag team of SWAT and who knows what else out there, and I must run. No, I cannot give you three months of post-dated checks on that $500 account that I'm so honest about that you're knocking down from $2,000 of late fees over the limit fees, and God only knows where the fees. Okay? So at this point, my house has caved in, my kitchen is in flames, my car is a pile of ashes, and I still have Mr. Bombay and now his tag team boss on the line. They're going to give me, the honest customer that is in the hole, the settlement of a lifetime. Why, just give us one post-dated check and we will settle this because you're so honest. Guess what, pal? Because of you and your idiot friend, I just lost my wife, my house, and my car, and my pets are scrambling through the neighborhood right now as I speak to you on the only thing left, the phone in my hand that has not yet melted into my palm. So, I don't think I can give you a post-dated check because with everything else up in flames went my checkbook. There you go. Everything I own is in flames except for this melted phone stuck to my ear and the palm of my hand. Now, he says to me, well, Marianne, we want to make settlement with you. We will have to take you to court. Take me to court? Sue me for what? I got nothing. Two hours on the phone, no wife, a fried kitchen, no dinner, thin mint gone. They are now chocolate pudding. Your pets running aimlessly through the neighborhood, running for cover and their dear little four-legged lives. And here you have Mr. Bombay on the line. And what does he say to you? He says, Marianne, do you have a neighbor you could borrow money from? Do me a favor, kids. Don't answer the phone. Even if it's a local phone number, let your voicemail take it. Trust me on that one. Let your voicemail take it. And that is all I have for today's rant on bill collectors. Um, I will get to you with more episodes. I will try to get at least three out next week for you uh, in between packing. But until then, kids, that's all I got for today. Don't forget, write a lesbian. Bye-bye.